morning everyone welcome back to kids camp today is day four and our specific theme is the good shepherd pursues us with goodness and mercy today our passage of scripture is psalm 23 and our bible story will be from pastor david we're also going to take some time for movement music and crafts and of course we will be uh, back on the farm to see a little bit more about sheep we hope you have a good time with us today and that you learned something God, we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the day so fair. Help us do the things we should to be to others kind and good in all we do in work or play to grow more loving every day. Amen.
It's Pastor Abby again, and I'm back on the farm with Jenna. You might be wondering where this farm is. There's so much open space and fields for days. Well, it's just outside a town called New Liskert in northern Ontario. It's right along the Quebec-Ontario border. I asked Uncle Dave to explain where he lives. We are five hours north of Toronto, and an hour and a half north of North Bay. And what is it like living in northern Ontario? It's it's a lot quieter than southern Ontario. It's uh, also a lot colder. Yeah, the summer is very short sometimes. Yes, we have about 100 to 120 days where stuff grows. So we have to do our farming in a lot shorter period of time. Now we've been talking a lot about sheep, but there are other animals living on the farm. Can you spot the animal in this picture? I'll give you a hint. It's behind the fence. What is it? That's right, it's a horse. Let's meet the two horses that live on the farm. The sheep sleep. The sheep sleep in their barn and the horses sleep in their barn. Everyone gets their own little house. Jenna's talking about rounding up the sheep with their horse Ruby. They also have dogs to help bring the sheep in at night. This is Griffin. See how fast he is? Shepherds work closely with their animals to make sure that the sheep are where they need to be. To make sure that the sheep are cared for. Sheep don't know what to do on their own, and so they need someone to follow. They graze freely during the day, but at night time, the sheep dogs and sometimes the horses will go out and round them up and bring them home so that they can sleep safely in the barn in peace. Everyone has a role to play on the farm, and it's important that everyone works together. Uh, what do you have to do in order to be able to ride a horse? You need to be friends with a horse in order to ride it so that you guys can both understand each other and you need to be able to take care of it so you know what's going on, uh, going on with your horsey. So if they have a problem, you know just as fast as they do. <laughs> and how fast does Ruby like to go? Ruby likes to race cars. Ruby is that type of horse. She likes to go running. She likes sprints like everyone else. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
shepherd I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hello, everybody. 
everybody. What a pleasure to be part of this virtual camp. Thank you very much. My name is Patty and I am serving with Canadian Baptist Ministries here in the country of Bolivia. Bolivia is located in South America and we are kind of the heart of South America. One of the nice things about Bolivia is that, well, we have nine cities. A city would be equal and equal a province like Canada. And each one of our cities has one, actually more than one special dish. So every city has very good and yummy uh, meals, uh, traditional dishes. So the other, uh, thing very interesting about Bolivia that we're not doing anymore because of the virus. Um, whenever uh, we greet, we used to give a handshake and a kiss, especially a kiss. But, uh, well, we can't do that. We are all wearing masks and still we are uh, having like a quarantine, very strict. And that means that we cannot go outside um, only once a week and um, four hours um, in that specific day. So it's um, very difficult and different um, times, but hopefully everything will be over soon. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share with you is what is the meaning of Jesus in my life? Um, I grew up in a Christian home, but when I was 15, I decided to know more Jesus and have a personal relationship with him. For me, Jesus means that I have a friend. As humans, we do have a lot of friends, but it is impossible for us to be for our friends always, 100% of the times. But Jesus is the friend that actually can be with us all the time. He is the friend that will walk with us that will accept us as we are, and that will love us deeply. Um, what a wonderful thing to be loved. If you think about right now, one person, one name that you think love you the most. Um, in my case, probably will be my mother. Yes, my mother. But uh, Jesus loves me even more. Loves me with a perfect love. And that's one of the best things I think that happened in my life, uh, to be loved unconditionally. So because uh, Jesus loves me, I would like to teach you uh, how to say that in Spanish. So, and I will ask you to repeat after me. So uh, it is, um, Jesus loves me would be Jesus. Te ama. Actually, that would be Jesus loves you. Jesus te ama. Repeat after me, please. Jesus te ama. That is Jesus loves you. And the other uh, phrase I would like to teach you is God bless you. In Spanish, we say Dios te bendiga. Repeat after me. Dios te Bendiga. So I hope you have a time to learn this too. And whenever you want to practice your Spanish, come to South America, come to Bolivia. We're going to be here open arms. Keep enjoying your virtual calm and God bless you. Dios te bendiga. And until next time. Bye bye. Morning. For today's craft, you are going to need your printed out picture of a sheep, about a cup of pop popcorn, and some glue. Now our sheep has his shape, but he doesn't have his fluff. So we're going to give him some fluff by gluing down some popcorn. Give him some fluff.
can also put some dots down and add the popcorn on top of it. Make it a more simple process. They aren't staying in place, that's okay. Just add a little bit more glue. And be sure you let them dry. Add some to his fluffy head. And there you have it, a popcorn sheep. Today's model for prayer comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. These are the words of Jesus concerning prayer when he's speaking to his disciples. He encourages his disciples not to heap up empty phrases or to use a lot of meaningless words just for the sake of sounding um, like they're making a good prayer, but to uh, speak from their heart and to talk to the Father who knows our needs. And Jesus says, starting in verse 9, pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. God doesn't need a lot of big words from us. He wants our heart and he wants us to um, pray to him about the things that we are concerned with and to worship him through our prayer.
Thank you, Father, for being my shepherd, the one who clearly leads my life. Stand on the hillsides where I can clearly see you. Don't let me miss you. As a sheep, I will look to you, listen to your voice, and follow your leading. Amen. That's all for today. Come back tomorrow for our final day of virtual camp. We'll be heading back to the farm to say goodbye to some of our furry friends, and we'll be making a noisy craft together. We'll have a lesson on what it means to do God's will, and of course there'll be more music and more movement. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.